Hello, my name is Ryan, and I'm going to unbox what I assume are my Sennheiser HD 650 headphones because I got two packages and this one kind of looks like it'd be the size for the headphones. I see a box. Hopefully inside of that box is another box, and inside of that box are headphones. As I read, when I look up reviews, UPS delivered. The guy knocked on my door and I missed it, so I had to go and uh, pick it up in a separate location. So this uh, reference class HD650 Sennheiser, and it's sort of like a weird, like a uh, cardboard box, a little fancy display. I bought these from uh, Amazon.com for $330. I could have gotten used ones for uh, $313. But these ones, they're new, they're open box. They actually might be hot, they might be stolen, because I read a bunch of reviews on Amazon.com and one guy said he got his for about 300, but Sennheiser wouldn't let him send them into repair because they weren't from an authorized dealer. I did not check whether or not this is from an authorized dealer. I did check and see that these headphones last a long time, they're very tough, so hopefully <laughs> if they're not legal, they'll just last. Alright, so kind of open it up. Fancy shiny packaging. And lo and behold, there is a box inside the box, like I expected. Opening up this box. Reviews to say Sennheiser. It's got, you know. It's not a nice box, there's already a ding on it. You know, this is a quote used product I bought from Amazon. Uh, and I'll let you guys see first. Up. Oof. Yes, I've seen other kind of unboxing things for these headphones. There's a little foam, and then here are the headphones, a little user guide. And uh, as I expected, the stock cable, and there also comes with it a, uh, a uh, quarter inch to eighth inch adapter. The stock cable ends at a quarter inch size, which is great for my own uh, sort of recording uses. The ear pad is made out of velour, which is like a fancy material. It's an open back design headphone, uh, so the grill right here you can see right through to the um, the, the drivers inside. Uh, these were, they got uh, in 2006 PC Magazine Headphones of the Year, they also got some other award. You can go to headphone.com which is where I did my research where I got the best um, information. I, uh, I checked Amazon and uh, a bunch of other websites. And really, what happened a lot was uh, either they would like repeat what Sennheiser.com, which again like wasn't really a good site to go to because they're kind of self-serving, uh, said, or they would kind of like say the same review on, on Headphone.com. It was a more professional review, and and I, I learned a lot actually. I, I pretty much knew nothing about headphones before I bought these headphones. I, I researched and I found they're the best and best price. Um, they have an impedance of 300 ohms which means you can run a lot through them and they won't really sound that loud. Uh, so actually with them I got a headroom, total bit head, um, headphone amp, and deck. That is Emily, our cat, uh, one of our cats. The other one is locked up because he did bad stuff and he's crying right now. You might be able to hear him throughout the video. Um, these headphones, they some people say they're titanium and silver. That's simply just the color. This is uh, plastic. Um, the inside of the headphones are, uh, there, there's acoustic silk specially made inside of them to uh, eliminate um, uh, problems when listening to them. The, uh, the distortion is 0.5% on these headphones, very low distortion. Uh, the connectors come off, which is a big thing I, I made sure to confirm when, when picking out my headphones because I don't want to have to have a broken cord and then therefore unusable headphones. They come out with a two-pin adapter. Um, I think the HD 600 and 599 or something use these, the same adapter. Um, the HD 800 use like a, it's like, a, it's round and, and it just kind of like shoves into there. Um, they, uh, when reading reviews, you'll, you'll find that people recommend to get uh, an upgrade from the stock cable to uh, what's called like the Cardass cable. It's $222. I got these headphones for $300 and to spend almost the same amount of money on a new cable. 
uh, what people say the, the cable does is it actually brightens up the uh, tone and, and makes it, makes everything sound better. Um, I got these because I love dubstep. I'm from Detroit, dubstep, Detroit, synonymous. Um, and I, I play bass guitar, so I need good bass response. Uh, these are said to be uh, dark veiled um, headphones, which means that they, uh, the lower register is where they kind of are chilling out and uh, it, it kind of maybe muddies up a little bit uh, the, the mids and then the brights aren't, aren't piercing like, uh, like the uh, AKG K701 or 702. Um, I almost bought those instead of these, uh, but what I read was the bass response wasn't that good and also the highs were kind of piercing and it could be fatiguing. Uh, fatiguing meaning after an extended listening period, maybe your ears would hurt. There would be like a subconscious, uh, you know, aversion that would uh, happen uh, toward the music from listening for a while. These are said to be uh, very low fatigue listening uh, headphones, so I'm, I'm excited about that. They uh, expand on either side. I used to have Dr. Dre Beats Studio headphones, the most expensive uh, uh, model they make, and um, the the little like thing to expand the, the the size of the headphones was very flimsy. In fact, the the screws came out on one side and lost them, broken, and it was just, it was quite a pain. These headphones, uh, one thing that's said about them is that they fit very tightly on you, which uh, some people return them for that reason. Some people said, well, if you're moving around, they don't fall off. Um, here, I'm going to put them on to let you know my own opinion of that, uh, of what's said about that. All right, these are very tight headphones, and I could definitely see how someone could be annoyed with them. These are open ear headphones right now. Uh, um, you know they they don't they don't block out the noise. In fact, uh, if you're listening to music, people can hear what you're hearing. Uh, I haven't tried out any music. Obviously, you saw me open up the box, so I haven't tried these out for that yet. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, the the uh, the cable is praised to uh, have very low contact noise, like like if you're like moving it around it's not gonna like the, the the motion of the cable is not so much gonna travel back up to your ear um, uh, getting back to the cable upgrade uh, the the stock cables on these are sort of I guess made made fun of by some audio files or whatever um, but the funny thing is these are this the stock cable is a decent cable in fact you can actually buy the stock cable as an upgrade to other Sennheiser headphones so you know, if people are, are, you know, desiring after this cable because, you know, it's better than their own one, uh, you know, it's at least a decent cable. It, it's better than, you know, than other things. It's not like the, the, the lowest grade out there. Um, uh, usually there's a two-year warranty attached if you buy from an authorized dealer. I do not know if I get such a warranty from these guys. Um, I'll have to listen to these, and uh, actually, uh, I'll listen to them right now. One thing that's that's made fun of about these uh, headphones, or like criticized, is that they uh, they sound really quiet. They're not good for uh, an iPod, so that's why I got the amp. In fact, if if you're gonna go ahead and you, you probably will if you're here, you're probably gonna go and watch other reviews and read other reviews. Um, some people talk about that and. I'll confirm that for you right now. I'll listen to some really bassy dubstep, high quality. Um, let's see, cue it up. These are not um, active headphones, they don't take a battery, so unlike my uh, um, my my uh, Beats, which were stolen, which is the reason why I went ahead and got these, or the Bose Quiet Comfort, you know, you might find a Bose store at your mall that take batteries and they don't work without them, these work. Um, without batteries. I'm gonna listen to, uh, here in Detroit there's something called DEMPF, uh, Detroit Electronic Music Festival. It's the biggest uh, uh, electronic music festival in the world and it's held yearly. I didn't go to it last year, um, I should have. It would have been my first time. I was invited by a, by a friend. 
but from what I hear, you know, they pass around like ecstasy and weed and stuff, and a lot of it's kind of like kind of maybe stupid electronica or, or you know, uh, dubstep junk. And uh, unfortunately, I really missed out because my uh, my friend's neighbor is a dubstep artist signed, and uh, his friend was uh, uh, in, in excision, you know, or excision the, the DJ, and I got a, a private recording of uh, his set at. Demp, which was amazing, and I wish I would have been there. So that's what I'm gonna listen to. I'm like one of like five people or something that has this recording. Yep, rumors are true. These are really quiet headphones. They they pretty much do nothing over a uh, an iPhone jack all the way up. Um, here you can kind of listen. some dubstep you should check it out dubstep is very good um yeah so these are really quiet headphones it sounds like the volume's like on barely anything um you are gonna have to get a headphone amp with these um and uh here i might as well just for those who would probably want this information um open up my headphone amp and uh show you guys Oh, actually, I've already run a quite a long video, so I'll edit it down and I'll make a separate video for the headphone amp. Alright, peace out.